Art is the vision of seeing life that does not exist, allowing you to see hidden opportunities. Art is diverse. I'm an artist with an unorthodox form of art. Dan, my partner, the only one I didn't need to call. Yet he still accompanies me on my journey. I have taught him many things under my tutelage. But the only thing he hasn't learned, and still ceases to learn, is appreciating appointments. Bonjour, monsieur. To gain trust, one needs to gain attention first. Rule number one. Never be untidy. Her name is Clementine. We were in her father's office last night. Don't ask me how that happened, but her father is a supplier for building materials. Is it Clementine or Clementine? Hey. Mm, 8,000 students fight. No, first article. The expensive core of rebuilding the Eiffel Tower is a new problem the city is facing. They are tearing down the town. And maybe one of the mayor is interested in having it in his garden. I just wonder who won this rusty scrap. April. Get me a list of all the scrap companies in Paris. Maybe your new lover, Clementine. And now, let's meet the count. Forgery is the finest form of imitation. I use simple methods to create authenticity. The blade is to scratch off the ink from the paper, then glaze it with egg white to vanish the black marks. Then I create white wine marks to glaze the ink. This crap company in Harry's right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this. <sighs> it's perfect. I want you to arrange a meeting at the crew.
get yourself a good seat, Matilda. Why? We are going to arrange an auction for the Eiffel Tower. You will be my assistant. Everything is ready. Why did Stefan Suarez to build the Eiffel Tower? Did he do it for money? Money for us to sell. I have been wondering about this the last couple of days. And I believe he did it because he wanted to do something for him. I think you made a mistake. It says Victor Lustig on it. Years from now, whenever a man is walking with his son beside the Eiffel Tower, he will not mention who built the monument, but who sold it. That will be me. People often say that a con man needs to be a fast talker to be able to get his triumph. However, I have a different theory on it. To be a successful con man, one needs to be a patient listener and should never look for war. We should wait for anyone to reveal their political or religious or any other opinion and then adopt the same ones. He should never pry into his personal circumstances. They will feel it by themselves eventually. It's almost time. Come with me and remain calm. Gentlemen, let me introduce myself and my assistant. My name is Victor Lusti. I am a deputy director of the Ministry of Posts and Telegraphs. And this is my assistant, Daniel Collian. We have uh, chosen you for this auction because of your wonderful reputation and honesty. Now, Daniel will tell you more about the Eiffel Tower. The tower was built in 1889. The panel down of the tower weighs 7,400 tons. The entire structure, including Known metal components weigh 10,000 tons. In 1916, due to the bombing by German aircrafts, the tower was damaged. The government had plans to rebuild the tower in 1919 after the war had ended. Mm, however, these plans faded away due to economic struggles. Please keep this meeting totally undisclosed and private because this information is very confidential. Now the meeting is about to be over and I will wait for their response. But I have already chosen the buyer. 
His name is Monsieur Andre. Why you want to check it is meeting secret, Monsieur? Yes, I feel even the hotel is unaware of this meeting, Monsieur Lustig. Mm. I am insulted. Last time the government tried to tear down the tower, people were in uproar. In order to avoid chaos, we need to keep this deal secret. Even from most of the hotel members. As I was saying, the name of the chosen one is Andre Poisson. Looks like his wife is keeping him on a tight rein. Any more questions? Why do you want us to make a decision so quick? Madam, if we make this deal quick, the government will not be able to get wind of what we are doing then we'll not be able to regulate our action and profit in such little time. This is better for you all. I appreciate your cooperation and I hope to receive your decision by tomorrow, midday. Merci, monsieur. Arrange an appointment with the person on my balcony within the hour. Monsieur, madame Poisson? Monsieur Lustig would like to speak to you in private. In private now? Yes. I wonder. Uh, oui? Yes, yes. We'll go. Oui. Mm. I'm going to miss this too. You seem less fine, Monsieur. Yes, sir. It was a fast action, Monsieur. I guess that is why I have been selected for this project. But if we all work together on this deal, the government would greatly appreciate your economic contribution. Even if you do not win the auction, the gesture would be fully acknowledged by the government. And myself. So there are only three companies bidding for this deal, right, monsieur? Let's just say, it's not only scrap companies that are interested, Mr. Poisson. Mr. Lustig, you said that the public was furious about the previous decision to tear down the tower. When one of the companies gets the deal, wouldn't the anger be turned towards them? Isn't the government considering the consequence? <sighs> Madam, there is no need to worry about that. The people will be against the government, but not the companies, as usual. So why are you taking part in this deal? <laughs> Madame, I have are already... Are you afraid of the public? I am afraid. You seem rather too successful to feel afraid, Mr. Lustig. I'm sorry. I have to confess. The Eiffel Tower has been sold. Unfortunately. It's all about my future. Why? We were so close to this deal and you showed them this letter? I don't understand. Mrs. Poisson wanted some convincing. And what did you do? In the letter. 
It says that one of the bidders offered me a bribe to secure the deal, which made Mr. Poisson realize that there are two auctions going on. After that, Mrs. Poisson was convinced I work for the government. Now, hide the letter and wait. They're late. Sorry for being late, Mr. Lustig. <laughs> Let's finish this quick. Huh? 250,000 francs. Two copies? Read it carefully before you sign. Thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Watts. Daniel, take this suitcase to the office. You say later. Monsieur, some officials may say you may be able to start destruction in one month, but I will make it happen in one week. Thank you, Mr. Lustig. Now I feel relieved. <laughs> So talking about your future, Mr. Lustig, we appreciate your honesty. Uh, we know that this meeting may affect your career, so if you don't mind, we would like to secure it. Enchanté. Mm. Dan took the money and waited for me nearby. A few days later, Mr. Poisson arrived with his workers and fake documents to tear down the tower. How embarrassed he must have been, trying to convince the police that the tower was his property. He was so embarrassed that he seemingly forgot to go to court. I'm not a criminal. I'm just a man with an obsession. And now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear. I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I traveled each and every highway and more, much more than this. I did it my I've had a few But then again Too few to mention 